Now turning to a beat exclusive tonight that is breaking news. Tonight, the chairman of the powerful House Oversight Committee, Elijah Cummings, is requesting key documents from a former Fox News reporter who covered Donald Trump's hush money payments to Stormy Daniels for her now famous NDA. Now, information about this reporter's alleged story remains secret because of a second NDA, one that this reporter signed with Fox News. Now, tonight, I just obtained Chairman Cummings' request in a formal letter. This is the first time it's been on air. We're reporting this exclusively on the beat. Now, let me tell you exactly what he's asking for. We just got this. Chairman Cummings requesting, quote, all documents related to women alleging extramarital affairs with President Trump, payments by the president or anyone on behalf of him to silence those people, and in a sign that this relates to probing potential crimes. We know that this new request from Chairman Cummings requests any documents regarding potential campaign finance violations. Now, for a House chair, these kind of letters can ultimately pave the way for a later subpoena if there's no compliance. A subpoena is what this Fox reporter's lawyer says would be legally required to override the NDA with Fox News. Now, that lawyer, Nancy Erica Smith, raised this very prospect on the beat earlier this week. Maybe the, the Congress should subpoena my client and all of her records. <laughs> And then we will see exactly what you, Fox News had. Have you and your client been contacted by, say, House Judiciary or not, Oversight? Not yet, but a subpoena will trump an NDA. So you're making a, a little bit of news here, which is why we like exclusive guests. You're saying that your former Fox News reporter... Diana Falzone. ...is bound legally by this NDA contract unless and until it's vitiated by the courts. Or she gets a subpoena. And I'm joined now on the phone exclusively by that lawyer, Nancy Erica Smith. Nick Ackerman is also still with me for analysis. Nancy, what can you tell us uh, about this request? Have you received it? I have received the request, Ari, and um, I want to add to what I said on air exclusively to you the other night. A valid government investigation also trumps an NDA. And so do you view this, even before it ever gets to a subpoena level, this request itself as something that you can comp comply with, regardless of Fox News asking uh, for your uh, client's silence? Yes. This is an exception to the NDA. A, a, you can, nobody can enter an NDA that will interfere with a government investigation. So we're reading from what we just received. All documents, committee requests your appearance for a transcribed interview. Uh, are you basically saying that you will now furnish them with these materials and do the interview? Yes, we will. Well, that itself is news. And what do you think the committee is likely to learn I know you can't talk about the content itself, but do you think it will advance their understanding of this report? I'll read from it in uh, The New Yorker, which has spurned a lot of this here, spurred a lot of this. And of course, uh, Donald Trump recently ousted his communications director, former Fox executive. The New Yorker had reported that your client, Falzone, told colleagues that she was told with regard to this Stormy Daniels story during the election. Good reporting, kiddo. But Rupert wants Trump to win, so just let it go. My client is going to tell the committee and, uh, uh, and Congress the truth about what, what evidence she had and what documents she had. And we expect that uh, perhaps the sources of Jane Mayer's article in The New Yorker were very good sources, although they weren't my client. We expect that those sources will be vindicated with my client's testimony. Uh, it's very intriguing when you put it like that. Uh, Chairman Cummings uh, clearly interested in it. Uh, you're breaking the news that basically, in your view, um, tough luck for Fox News, that the material and the information she has is going to go to the Congress. Uh, and then on top of that, as I mentioned to viewers of The Beat, moments ago I just sat down with and taped an interview that we haven't aired yet with Keith Davidson, who says that he spoke uh, to your client when she was a Fox News reporter during the campaign. So we're airing this for the first time. He would appear to corroborate this and talk about what she knew at the time that made it potentially a reportable story before the election day. Uh, let me play this now for the first time. Take a look. Diana Falzone uh, did contact me, uh, and she had specific details regarding specific uh, Stormy. details. So was she in a position, do you think, to report out that story then? 
you know, it, it certainly seemed to me. Uh, so when she made the wow. comment call to me, and she was laying out all the specific facts uh, of the of the affair and of the story of the attempted settlement, the non-funding, and so forth, it, what, it certainly what kind of seemed details? to me. Well, she had the amount. Uh, she had uh, the corporate names that the original settlement uh, was was named in. Uh, she had the dates of the affair. She had already spoken to a man named Nick Ritchie at the Dirty dot com, uh, and she asked me to confirm those details. At least what she reported to me at that time, uh, in between the, the 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 failed settlement and the ultimate agreement with Stormy Daniels, she had uh, numerous. Uh, corroborating sources, uh, and and she had specific facts uh, regarding the case. Nancy, to be clear, that is Stormy's lawyer at the time saying your client, the Fox News reporter, had enough that it looked like she could go with the story. Well, one would think that um, the the idea that a presidential candidate was paying off a porn star would be blockbuster and um, perhaps a news organization really interested in news would have run with this story and put lots of resources into the story and done whatever they needed to do to get such a story. Um, we'll see what the evidence shows about how Fox reacted to this story. It's fascinating because you have a potential whistleblower who can now, you're saying breaking news, will comply with Chairman Cummings and tell that story to the committee, I want to include the Fox News rebuttal, okay? Uh, they say, and they have a person on the record who wrote a whole piece saying that uh, Daniels was trying to get the story out without fingerprints and ultimately without enough proof to publish. Former Fox executive Ken LaCourt basically saying he stopped the Daniels story and that was the legitimate reason. Nancy. We think that we will be able to show that Ken LaCord is a liar. Do you have material about him specifically, if you're making that allegation? Uh, for one thing, he didn't stop the story, and that's going to be evident. You're saying that whole narrative that he wrote, that he was the one personally intervening itself, that he wasn't even involved in overseeing that story? Yes. Was it someone more senior than him? Yes. Was it someone famous? <laughs> We'll let, we'll let Congress decide whether or not to hold, this, hold a hearing in public. I, uh, well, I understand. I suppose the final yeah. question to you is, uh, was this your strategy? Have you had other clients get this quick a response uh, to get out of an NDA? Or is this a fairly unusual way uh, to lawfully um, have an NDA not apply? Because as you state, you have a provision in the NDA that allows you to comply with Congress. We never had a strategy because we didn't know this story was going to come out. Hmm. Diana Falzone's out there trying to get a job as, in journalism, and once you sue your employer, that's really hard to do. So it's, it's not a strategy, but it, it complies with the law. Anybody out there, anybody in your audience who has an NDA must know that the law requires that you be allowed to participate in any government investigation, mm -hmm. and no NDA can stop that. And that's an important fact for everybody to know. And they should know that a subpoena trumps an NDA. So attempts to silence very important stories and very important whistleblowers cannot survive if the government is interested. And I think we're all very happy that the government is interested because this is important. A free press and honesty and truth going to the American people two weeks before an election is very important. Well, Chairman Cummings uh, made news tonight in response to you. You're making your own news here about your client. It sounds like the story is not over. I appreciate on short notice uh, you jumping on the phone to join the beat, Nancy Erica Smith. I'd love to have you back and Nick back to discuss this more. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.